In this video I will show you step by step how to build a high performance pedal set for a racing simulator, using readily available materials and components for a total of around 30 bucks. Everything will be built out of two 1200x600x4mm plywood sheets. I choose 4mm plywood because my laser cutter can easily cut through it, and I will double every part up to make it 8mm thick. I also made the plans for 10mm plywood in case you have a more powerful laser or if you want to cut the parts by hand or with a scroll saw, so that you don't have to double the parts up. In any case, you can download the plans from the link below. When all the parts are cut, we can glue each pair together, making sure to properly clamp them with a vise or a press of some sort. After the glue dries, we can clean up the excess glue and uh, get a nice finish with some sanding. I also touched up the edges with a black marker to bring back that cool laser cut look. We can then take an 8mm aluminum rod and we can cut the necessary free lengths two at 60mm and one at 55 we we'll later need them to assemble the pedal. The last thing to do before assembling the pedal is to glue the potentiometer in place using some super glue, making sure it is oriented with the connectors facing down like so, and we can also solder the necessary wires to it. Now we can take the right base plate, the right arm and the pulley wheel, as well as one of the 60mm rod we cut before. And we can assemble them, making sure to also add a few washers. At this point the assembly has to be stopped, so we can add the transmission cable from the pulley to the potentiometer, so that it can rotate when pressing on the pedal. First, a screw must be screwed in the flat part of the pulley, so that we can secure the wire to it. We can then rotate the potentiometer fully clockwise and we can insert the cable in this groove. We can then take the end coming out of the back side and route it to the lock screw like so. The other end can be routed uh, a full turn around the potentiometer and locked with the lock screw we added earlier, making sure to get enough tension on the cable to get a more precise movement. As you can see now, when pressing on the pedal, the potentiometer moves uh, accordingly, allowing us to very precisely read its position. With the mechanism working, we can assemble the other parts, making sure to use uh, a generous amount of glue for maximum strength. While assembling the pedal I want to thank PCBWay for providing the PCBs I need for this project. PCBWay is my go-to website for all kinds of high-quality on-demand fabrication, from custom PCBs to 3D printed metal parts, with fast turnaround times and very low prices. Check them out at the link below. After adding the last few bits and pieces, such as the spring and the grip tape, we can repeat this process to build the other two pedals, which are identical to the first one. 
To give a more realistic feeling to the brake pedal, I took a strip of thick rubber and uh, I rolled it, uh, holding it together with a zip tie. This makes uh, for a very hard bumper, which will perfectly simulate the sudden uh, hard feeling of a brake pedal. And we can place it uh, below the spring, keeping it in place with a couple of screws. With the three pedals finished, we can start working on the base to keep them raised a bit and securely locked in place. For that I cut a 21 by 48 cm board out of this 10 mm MDF. The pedals can then be placed on this board, making sure to leave enough space between them. We can then drill the holes for the routing of the sensor cables and we can screw the three pedals securely in place. I decided to place the gas pedal at a bit of an angle to be more comfortable and this ended up working very nicely. The pedal platform needs to be securely held at an angle and for that I will use these two wooden blocks which I had laying around, but you can obviously use some thinner boards if you want. After cutting them to size and screwing them in place we can start to see the final shape of this pedal set. Next is to cut another MDF board where my feet will rest and we can screw it in place. I also wanted to add a nice finish to rest my feet on and for that I chose this fake leather which I cut to size and glued in place with the help of some nails. The edges didn't look quite right, so I added these two wooden strips to clean up the look, and also to prevent my feet to accidentally slide off. We haven't finished yet because we need to sort the electrical connections. I just received the PCB from PCBWay, so we can proceed by screwing it on the side of the simulator. After stripping the necessary wires we can solder them to the PCB to get a clean and reliable connection. To link the pedals to the main board that will sit on the steering wheel we will use an RJ45 connector which will be soldered here on the PCB, but unfortunately I haven't received it yet so we'll have to wait and solder it in my next video where I will complete the simulator by building the force feedback steering wheel. Anyway, the pedal set is now finished and looking amazing. It feels exactly like a real car and uh, I can't wait to test it out with the full rig. You definitely want to subscribe so you won't miss my next video where I'll finish the simulator. In the meantime consider leaving a like and uh, I'll see you soon!